Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have yet another Singles Swag. Singles Swag is a really fun, very affordable monthly lifestyle box. This has not been sent to me for a review, but they were kind enough to give me a nice discount on my last renewal. I never know how much longer I'm going to review this box. I think it's a great value, but I have been reviewing it here for quite some time. I do of course have a code for you. It is Noelle35 that will save you 35% on either the full box or the petite box, which I do think is a great deal. And I have a link as well as that code for you in the description box below. By the way, if you ever do use that code or if you use a different code and you happen to use my link, please do let me know because I've been having some trouble for quite some time tracking any of those sales. So I would love to know if it is working. And I hope that you are enjoying the subscription if you are able to subscribe. So there is the full box, which is just $39.99. That usually includes seven to eight items. There is usually a jewelry item, which I usually think is a little overpriced on the MSRP, as well as a snack, which is a little overpriced, but very, very appreciated. And then there is also the petite box, which is $24.99. That usually has four to five products, so a little bit less, but it also usually includes that jewelry item and that snack item, which I feel like are the kind of the high item as well as the lowest cost item, so it kind of balances out the value of the petite box. This is what it looks like. Nothing too fancy. It's been the same for the last three years for the most part since I started reviewing it. Actually, I think about three years ago they had a black and white box, but since then, no other updates. Very simple in terms of the packing. There's a little black tissue paper inside. Um, really no shred, but for whatever reason, even though the box comes looking a little beat up, the items inside are usually just fine. Most of them come in their own boxes, so I think that helps. We do get some like pretty well-known brands. Uh, we also have been starting to get some more repeats because again, I have been reviewing this box for a little while. Some of the times I don't mind the repeats if it's something that I can use, like a sponge lay for example. Some of the times, like the last box, I think we got a book that I had gotten before. It's something that I can always pass along, and that's what I do think is really nice about subscription boxes, is you can always re-gift the items that you personally won't use. So, let me find our card. So our card does tell us that in this particular box, there are eight items with a total retail value of $204. I always mentally just cut that in half because that seems a little more reasonable. So we're looking at $102 as a retail value if you are going out and purchasing those items on your own. Um, it might be a little higher than that, it might be a little bit lower than that, but still, that's a fantastic deal on a $40 box, which you might actually be getting for quite a bit less, under $30 if you use my code. So let me prop that up in front of me. And then the other nice thing is that once you have been subscribed at least once, you are gonna get discounts in their online shop where you can get the items individually and different products uh, from those companies that are represented in the box. So you can get uh, everything is at 50% off retail, but again, the MSRPs that they list on the uh, cards. So, all right, the first item that I see, which is kind of the biggest item this time around, is something that is a repeat, I believe. I know that I have definitely gotten it in a Bombay and Cedar, and I'm pretty sure I've gotten it in a past single swag as well. It is these Pivotal Cooling Globes, which I usually think of as a little bit more of a summer product, obviously. They are really nice, they look really cool, you can put them in the fridge, and they just kind of massage your face, face almost like a very modern looking gua sha. So let's see. These have a value of $38. I think that's actually pretty reasonable. I've seen them for like crazy MSRPs listed. So these are the facial cooling globes. They do come in this nice box, so I could see regifting this to someone. Nice little fancy stocking stuffer. It says soothe and massage the contours of your face and neck with this set of two ultra cooling facial globes that will take your skincare routine to the next level. Benefits include enhanced skin elasticity, reduce puffiness and dark circles, improve circulation and prevention of fine lines and wrinkles place the globes in the freezer for 20 minutes prior to application and wash with antibacterial soap before and after each use so this is what they look like they've just got some uh liquid inside of them they're a little bit tricky i think to uh, pull out i think i've done it before I just remember because I know that once upon a time, I used to do product photos for every single box that I received. Obviously, I get a lot more boxes these days, so I'm only doing uh, photos for a few of them. Yeah, they're really hard to pull out of the package, so I'm not gonna, there we go. I got one of them. So they kind of look like a science experiment, right? But you know, you can use both of them with the little wands and really massage your face. And I know a lot of people actually really enjoy the sensation. It's one of those things that 
that I just never really take the time to do, but I could see that it would be a really nice thing when you are just feeling a little bit overheated. Maybe, you know, you've got the fire going and you've got your fuzzy everything on, but your face is getting a little bit flushed and you want to like cool things off. So perhaps it is a good thing for the winter months as well. Anything that reduces fine lines and wrinkles, I guess is something good for year round, right? All right, let's put this off to the side. So I think that's gonna be one of our higher valued items. Yes, this time around, there is just a couple items that are a little bit higher. So they actually have a, oh, that, I was gonna say, usually the jewelry item is the highest valued item and it is, I thought for a second that it said 34, but it still says 54. All right, you guys, let's see what it is. So it is from Violet Harper, which is a brand that often provides the jewelry piece in this box. I don't think you can actually find them online where you could purchase individual items. They are pretty much a wholesaler as far as I can tell. This is the Morgan Gold Beaded Bracelet and Earring Set with a value of $54. Says this smart, sophisticated set includes gold plated and black beads set on a dainty chain with an adjustable, easy to use bolo clasp, plus a round uh, pounded gold plated earring. So there was a box inside of this little sleeve so not like the fanciest presentation but fairly eco-friendly oh this is cute and this is not a repeat so we got some little hammered studs and then this cute little bracelet so like some glass black beads with some little intermittent uh gold ones and then they it does have this slider closure which is what they're talking about which i have also described sort of as a bolo tie so those are always really nice because they're easier to put on yourself and then also they can adjust it to whatever size you need that bracelet to be and then you just have two little tails kind of hanging but that's actually a really pretty set and i could see that looking very elegant for the holiday season so I will say, I don't think that single swag really uh, goes by the seasons. That doesn't really usually feel like we get something for, you know, the winter months or the summer months. So it's not surprising to me that we're getting the cooling globes in November. But I feel like that jewelry piece is definitely a little bit more holiday than, you know, some of the summery like turquoise shell kind of pieces that we'll get sometimes. All right. So that's not too bad. It's a pretty jewelry set. Um, I don't think it's worth $54, but it's something that's really fun to enjoy and use or re-gift in a really affordable box, like I said. All right, here is our snack. Now, this is kind of interesting. I think this might be the third month in a row that the snack has been a Kind Bar, which is fine by me. I love Kind Bars. They've given us different flavors. This is a Honey Almond Butter Kind Bar. I feel like Kind Bars have gotten a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller over the years. So it has a value of $2. We used to get like snacks like cupcakes and weird, you know, sweeter things, for example, and they would always have like a higher value. I would like some more savory items sometimes, I think. It says this nut butter filled snack bar is packed with creamy real nut butter and topped with crunchy nuts and a chocolatey drizzle. Contains 100% whole grains and no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives, making this a delicious and healthy snack you can feel good about. So yeah. I love me a kind bar. Obviously, if you have a nut allergy, allergy, this is kind of a bummer, but you know, they never promised anything for dietary restrictions with the snacks. It was always just kind of the little extra bonus, the little $2 treat that they're including. Here is the item, I think. Oh, we got a cuticle cream. This is a really big cuticle cream. It's uh, grapefruit and cassis. It's from Voluta Currency, which is a brand I have never heard of. I thought this was gonna be like a hand lotion, but again, this is a really big cuticle cream. I guess you could probably use it all over your hand. It has a value of $22. It says this lush moisturizing cuticle cream with antibacterial and moisture retaining properties will leave your skin feeling silky smooth and bursting with vitality. For deep hydrating experience, massage lotion into hands and fingers paying close attention to the cuticle area this just made me think though i know that they always do like a crazy black friday sale so if you're able to do a multi-month subscription and you're able to get it on a really big discount i highly suggest going for it because i think it is a fun subscription especially if you haven't done it for a while then you're not going to feel like you're getting a lot of repeats the way i do sometimes but i would absolutely love it if you happen to use my link and let me know all right, you guys. Oh, something from, this is a brand we get a lot in single swag, which is So Susan Cosmetics, which is actually a pretty well-known brand and uh, gets rave reviews for some of their products. This is their primer gel. I think this is actually a primer that I've gotten 
maybe in a single swag in the past that I use. Primers are one of the few um, skincare face things that I do use. Sometimes I do wear some makeup, especially for these videos, and I don't do a lot of things in terms of like a serum and then a moisturizer, etc., etc. Sometimes I kind of let my primer be my moisturizer. So it's just this cute little tube. It's a little gel. I think I might have thought that the texture of the gel was a little bit strange, but I do think I still used the whole thing. So this primer has the second highest value in the box at $42 it says this illuminating water-based primer is designed to have a soothing effect on your skin diminish the appearance of fine lines and provide oil-free seamless luminosity while extending the wear of your makeup which that's why we like to wear it so um, I think I'll have to give it a try again I'm not sure every time it says primer gel I'm always like I want it to be more of like a cream but I think that's kind of cool that we got a nice product and again I didn't know about these, about So Susan Cosmetics until I started getting subscription boxes, but I did see them more and more in really reputable boxes, and um, people will swear by them. So, okay, here's kind of like a sort of a lifestyle item. So it's a little book. It says, Why You're So Awesome to You from Me. So it's kind of one of those things that you see uh, that people give to each other for like Valentine's Day, where you go ahead and fill it all out. So you fill in the blanks uh, to uh, gift it to someone. So this was the little sleeve that it came in, but it was kind of creating some glare, so I didn't want to show it to you. But you can fill that in and then gift it to someone. That's pretty cute. So it's actually numbered. So like number five, it would have been awesome to know you when... So it's like kind of, you know, how well you know that person. You could give it to a family member or a friend. Again, that is a really cute and thoughtful uh, Christmas gift, for example. Number 18, if you were an animal, you'd be, and I always have fun picking what people's like spirit animals are or what they look like. That's kind of cute. So I actually think that's a really cute item that I haven't seen in any other boxes yet. It's the fill in the blanks book. It has a value of $10. That seems very reasonable. So I'm not going to slice the uh, MSRP in half for that. It says you truly are awesome and don't ever forget it. Use this cute, delightful book to remind yourself how much you love yourself. I guess you could fill it out for yourself. That's kind of weird though to say I wish I knew you when because in theory even though we learn our, to know ourselves better and better day after day You already know yourself. So I feel like it's more of a gift book it Says or fill in one of the blanks with someone's name that you love. It's easy. It's fun. It's awesome So that's what I would highly suggest doing instead of sort of a like ego boosting thing But I guess some of them could act as sort of journal prompts for you as well. All right We got a little bit more to go <clears throat> oh, this is great. I actually just used one of these this morning, which is a cognac sponge. This is with uh, infused with charcoal. It's from Relax. So this is like a little round one, and I'm, it's got the little string. So these are just great for natural exfoliation. They're a little bit hard to start with. You have to kind of run them under the water to get them soft. And then I like to actually use like a cleanser with them to just clean my face. And I do feel like my face is a lot smoother after the fact. Sorry, guys. It's like not wanting to focus. So this is a value of $11. It says that it's um, from Daily Concepts, I think. So it might be a little bit different. Cleansing sponge though, yeah. It says this detoxifying sponge deeply cleanses the pores by drawing dirt, oil, and environmental toxins away from the skin. The soft pores texture gently buffs away dead skin cells, bumps, and flakes for smoother skin. So I think it might just be from a different brand than they were planning. Instead of Daily Concepts, it came from Relax. Or maybe that's one of their sub-brands. All right, and then finally, we are ending with a little beauty item from Bella Pierre Cosmetics, which again is a pretty well known brand these days that does appear in a lot of different subscriptions. This has a value of $25. I think they've really like focused on the subscription box market too, which is smart, I think. So it says, this is the Ultra Glow Highlighting and Bronzing Palette, the ultimate cheek palette featuring four universal shades, three shimmery highlighters, and one velvety matte contour shade. Finely milled pigments are easily blendable and can be mixed for the perfect glow day or night. So it just kind of... Um, familiar uh, packaging from Bella Pierre. They just have like a little plastic palette. I feel like I've gotten this before. So it says three shimmery highlighters and one velvety matte contour shade. So these look like very usable colors for sure. 
Um, I probably wouldn't use the bronzer. I guess I could use the bronzer for a little bit of contour, but I definitely would use the, the shimmery shades for brow bones and maybe even cheekbones. So that's a useful thing. I don't use personally a lot of highlighter, but sometimes I'll kind of finish my eyeshadow with a little bit of highlighter in the uh, corners. And then of course the brow bones, if I just want to emphasize that a little bit more. So not too bad of a box in all honesty from Single Swag this time around. We got our little uh, earring and uh, bracelet set, which I did think was pretty, which I've like put all back together already. I don't know why I did that. We got our cleansing sponge. We got our very large cuticle cream, which I might use a little bit as a hand cream. Of course, we got our Kind Bar, which is now becoming a trend. We got our primer, primer gel from So Susan Cosmetics, our Bella Pierre Ultra Glow Highlighter Palette, our Fill in the Blanks book, which is definitely my favorite item because it's the most unique and I think it's great for the gift giving season. And then finally, our Pivotal Facial Cooling Globes, which I guess you can use year round, even though I, in my mind, think of it as more of a summery item to uh, cool your face down. But you guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite item or items was or were. If you are subscribed to Single Swag, if you have been in the past, if you're thinking about it, like I said, I do think that there's going to be some pretty crazy Black Friday sales coming up, but as always, I love when you guys use my referral codes or links. Sometimes I get a little commission, sometimes it's just letting the boxes know that this is where you found them is on my channel, and I so appreciate that continued support. If you have a chance, please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.